Hi, I am Chek Gurila and today I would like to teach about introductions to chemistry. So what is chemistry? Chemistry is a branch of science that studies the composition, structure, properties and interactions of matter. The origins of the word chemistry come from Egypt, where they call us chemia or black, but in Arabic they call us alchemia or the art of transforming metals. Let's see the branch of chemistry. Chemistry can be divided into several branches. The first is organic chemistry. Organic chemistry is something that related to the study of carbon and its compounds. We also have physical chemistry, which is related to the behavior of chemical substances. Inorganic chemistry, this related to the study of inorganic compounds. Analytical chemistry, this chemistry, branch of chemistry rela related to the study of matter and the development of tools to measure properties of matter. We also have biochemistry. So biochemistry is related to the study of chemical processes that occurs inside of living organism. Let's see the chemical use in daily life. Usually we use soap and detergents. So chemical use in soap and detergents. Soap and detergents are used as cleansing agent. Soap is made from processing fats or oils, whereas detergents is produced from the reactions between the byproduct of petroleum and alkali. In paint industry, paint use a chemical which is a type of polymer that is used to coat and protect surface, protect the surface surface. We also have semen. Semen is produced from calcium carbonate, CaCO3. Semen is an important chemical in the constructions of buildings. We also have a kitchen utensil. So kitchen utensils are made from chemicals such as plastic, glass, ceramic, stainless steel. Same goes to our food. So in our food, we have several types of chemicals that use as preservative. So some of the example is sodium nitrate, sodium chloride, sodium benzoate, and also a benzoic acid. So this is some of example chemical use in daily life. We also use chemicals in medications and health supplement. For example, medications uh, we use to cure disease, but in health supplement, we use it to maintain our health. For example, uh, medications, we have aspirin and antibiotic. So this one is to cure disease, whereas we also have a supplement such as ascorbic acid, that one is a vitamin C, and also a calcium. So that one is a health supplement. In, in agriculture, so we can use the Chemicals are used as fertilizer. So chemical fertilizer are used in agricultural activities to fertilize the soil or to increase the food yield. So here are some examples of chemical fertilizer. We have urea, ammonium sulfate, sodium nitrate, calcium ammonium nitrate. Now let's move to the example of career in the field of chemistry. So the first one is teacher or lecturer, same like me. Okay. So, doctor, okay, instead of biology, doctor also needs to know a lot about chemistry. And then chemical engineer, biochemist, and also a pharmacist. Let's see the chemical industry in Malaysia. So, petroleum supply fuel, petrochemicals, and plastic materials. Whereas rubber, they supply tires and also a rubber glove. The paint industry supply vernis, inks, and also dyes. And whereas the detergent industry supply detergents and also a softener. So this is some example. Chemical industry in Malaysia, we have a Nippon paint, we have top glove, we have Petronas. 
Instead of that, we also have chemical industry in pharmaceuticals where the pharmaceuticals supply drugs and also medicine. We have the agrochemical industry where this supplies fertilizer and also pesticides. Palm oil, this supplies cooking oil, margarine, this one, cosmetic, this is most popular in Malaysia, cosmetic industry. So cosmetic industry that supplies the cosmetics such as a lipstick, fish foundation, cleanser and also a cream. So in Malaysia, we have a UPHA, Pharmaceutical Malaysia. This one is to produce a drugs. Okay, we have a Unitata. This one is oil palm company. And for agriculture, we have agricultural chemicals, ECM.